Today I'm on my way to the capital city of Massachusetts, Boston. I'm headed to an area known as Downtown Crossing, known to locals as DTX. Back in the late 1800s and early 1900s, this area was considered the hub of department store shopping, home to stores like Jordan Marsh and Filene's. Today, smack dab in Downtown Crossing stands the Millennium Tower, and that's my destination a 60-story, 685-foot luxury residential skyscraper, among the tallest structures in Boston. I'm on my way up to the 59th floor to meet businessman Greg Aganis in his 4,200-square-foot, three-bedroom, four-and-a-half-bath penthouse condo. Greg, whose family has a long, long history in Boston and who knows the city like the back of his hand, purchased this condo during the tower's construction a few years ago. He has lived here for two and a half years. I'm sure the views of this beautiful city from atop this exclusive high-rise are going to be nothing less than spectacular. Goodness. Welcome. Ooh, Pleasure. Thank you. It is so Great nice to see to you. Meet you. Nice to meet you. See well, you in person. I know it's been a little bit. <laughs> it's been a little crazy. Yes. Yeah, busy, right? Very, very busy. Jet setting. Yes. Exactly. Oh my gosh. Yes. Well, welcome. Finally, I made it to Millennium Tower. And tell me, you get tired of the view? Never, How can you? Never oh my get God. tired of the view. It's constantly changing. <laughs> I want to soak up the day. decor, but yes, I am like sure. so. Everyone gets drawn to the view, so you know, just go right to the window, and we'll give you. <laughs> and then circle back. And to circle the back to the to the finishes. <laughs> okay, and such. take me to your favorite. Do you have I, a favorite vantage point? Um, it's hard to say, but you know, wherever wherever I'm, what room I'm in, it's I just go and just look at that view, and obviously the the Charles River is the premier view in the city here, yeah. so. Wow. Okay. So I've, I've taken in the bird's eye yeah. and now I can look around. Sure. Well, yeah. we'll take, take, uh, <laughs> take, a, take a walk through uh, the house. Oh. Did, did I hear that there was a movie made there in this was. one? There was. This is probably uh, what made this, this unit pretty much famous. Uh, Denzel Washington Equalizer 2 was filmed here two years ago and were you uh, allowed to like I was I was I stayed in the unit okay and uh did you have like a cameo I didn't have a cameo I, I <laughs> had a couple cameos but not the Denzel Washington films <laughs> okay. so the the actual uh scene that was shot um the, the scene really became famous through the chandelier yeah now that uh, chandelier is stunning yeah it reminds me of the rays of the sun yeah yeah is that what it's, it's supposed to evoke somewhat, yeah and, and it just I feels wanted, like fire i wanted it to be a showpiece of the of yeah. the uh of the room but I, I have a lot of whites and grays so i wanted it to pop so yeah, this, this is, is um the kitchen area and yeah. uh originally the the thought was pushing the kitchen back to the wall and i said you know what i want it as close as, to the balcony as possible now, I love the waterfall edge. Yes, I mean, that's, that's my favorite. Oh, so yeah, gorgeous. I would never, I don't think I'd ever do another home without a waterfall edge. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah, these ceilings are crazy beautiful, yeah, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And to have a separate space. So what, what delineates this, this more formal? This is the formal and this is the casual, comfy movie sports room that, you know, yeah. if this is a couple people hanging out. Are you a big Boston sports fan? Oh yeah, yeah. of course. Yeah, of course, yeah. <laughs> I didn't want to go there in no, case no, it no. happened to be like, no, well, you definitely, know. definitely, definitely. Yeah, huge, huge uh, Patriots fan and Red Sox. Yeah, absolutely. So lots of energy in here. Mm -hmm. I mean, I love the, the the carpet keeps it nice and quiet. And yes, soft. I, and a master, I like that. Yes, me too. This is the only place in in the apartment that has carpeting, mm -hmm. and I wanted a soft, smooth, smooth feeling. Is that yeah. for the sound? No, or just, just like because cozy? my feet. Yeah, coziness. Yeah, I mean, hardwood's great, but you know, it's sometimes in a bedroom it gives a little softer feel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and I mean, another great view. Yeah, and then. Just back in the corner, and again, you just have every window yeah. pane of glasses overlooking mm. the park and comments. So it's, you know, just different perspective from from the bedroom. Stunning, yeah. stunning, stunning. Look at this. So two showers, two. Two showers, two toilets, two sinks. So it's it's kind of like his and her baths, but they're both kind of hers in a way because you have a tub and a, and a makeup area. Yeah. Now so, the soaking tub is yeah. just. It's mm -hmm. key. Yeah, it's absolutely. key now. Yeah. That's that's the trend now. Everyone mm -hmm. wants to just so yeah. Well, the jacuzzis are kind of like out. Too big, yeah, too. too big, this yeah. envelops you completely. Absolutely. Look at yeah. how deep that one is. Mm -hmm. Who makes and that? And you still can sit in the tub and, and still get views of the oh, views oh. of the city. It's always <laughs> oh, always back to the views. Yeah. 
Our last stop on the tour was Greg's office. Like every room, this one also had stunning views. But my attention wasn't drawn to the skyline, but to Greg's memorabilia and collections. His office, as it turns out, is not just where he works, but an homage to his great uncle, Aristotle George Harry Aganis, nicknamed the Golden Greek, an incredible all-around athlete, American college football and baseball player for Boston University, and a professional baseball player in the major leagues. None of which is apparent that fine spring in Sarasota, the kids get a lot of attention, especially Aganis. Harry was starting first baseman for the Boston Red Sox from 1954 to 1955. One fantastic year until his unexpected death from a massive pulmonary embolism. He was only 26. At the time, the Red Sox set up a foundation in his honor. And since, the Aganis Foundation has awarded more than a million in student athlete scholarships. The Aganis Arena, a multi-purpose sports facility at BU, is also named after Harry, and a life-size statue stands outside of the arena on the corner of Commonwealth Ave and Harry Aganis Way. The Massachusetts Interscholastic Athletic Association, or the MIAA, also partnered with the Aganis Family Foundation to honor Harry as an MIAA student athlete alum with the Aganis Trophy awarded to the highest level of accomplishment. Mm -hmm.